Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a free OKX Exchange Bitcoin Grid Bot. Now, if you're not familiar with OKX, we can jump over here to the CoinGecko website. And if I sort by volume for the last 24 hours, you can see they are the number two exchange as far as volume goes. They actually have more volume than even Coinbase. Now, overall ranking is 27, and that is based on their trust score, which is an eight, which is still a good trust score. It's in the green. It is a positive thing. And if you want to find out more about how this trust score is calculated you can click on methodology i can tell you it's based on several factors including trading pairs uh, number of visits where the exchange itself is actually located but i can tell you from my own experience as far as security goes it's been a solid platform i do use this as one of several different exchanges that i use as far as I know, there's only been one hack on OKX, but again, you're going to want to do your own recon. And that hack was not actually a security breach of the platform, but a security breach of an individual's account where someone actually got the passcodes and hacked into their account. So I don't know if you can put all the blame on OKX for that. I would probably put the blame on the account holder in that case because you need to keep your passwords and your private keys and such secure. But with that all being said, again, just do your own recon on the platform. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get into the weeds and get this bot configured and then deployed on Bitcoin. So if I jump over here to my OKX exchange trading platform, I can see they've added a new button over here in the far left corner and it says manual trading with a little arrow. If I give that a click down, then I can come down to the new trading bot feature and give that a click and that will open up for me the spot grid bot. However, if you give that a click, you can see they have a couple other options. They have iceberg and the TWAP. Uh, I will more than likely do videos on these features in the near future, so now would actually be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. Now today I will be deploying this spot grid bot, so I just give that a click. And now you can see we have the configuration parameters that I can now begin to configure myself. Or I can jump over to the AI strategy and configure the bot via the AI strategy. I personally prefer to configure my own bots myself and so that's the way I'm going to start out is configuring this bot myself. Now for the lower price I typically use prior support and in this case if I look back I can see support back here around the 57,000 level. However I do want to give the bot some room to maneuver and so I'm going to actually set that at 56,000. Now for the upper price I typically look at prior resistance and right now with Bitcoin running up into the 61,000 level then the real next level of resistance is the previous all-time high and that's at around 64,000. Again, I want to give this bot room to maneuver, so I am going to set that at 66,000. Now, just out of curiosity, if you want to see what the AI strategy would have set these at, we'll just give that a click and you can see they would have selected 55,000 and 67,000, so they would have given the bot a little more room to maneuver. And that back tested out for the past seven days of an annual yield. This is not a seven day yield, but the annual yield over the seven day back test would have produced 84% profit. And the number and number of grids they recommend is five, and the basically grid spacing is going to be three to four percent that's going to be much larger than what i actually set up myself so we'll jump back over here to the setup myself and so now i have my lower price at fifty six thousand and my upper price at sixty six thousand now i need to determine how many grids i actually want the spot to be working with and if you just put your pointer right over the grid quantity it gives a bit of an explanation this is actually very similar to binance's grid bots and it has a arithmetic and geometric grid types. The arithmetic style is basically an equal common factor between grids where the geometric is based on an equal ratio. So for instance, the arithmetic, each grid space would be 1% apart, where with the geometric, you might have 
a 1% gap, then a 2% gap, then a 4% gap. And so that's done a little differently. I typically use the arithmetic. And in this case, I'm going to select the arithmetic. And for today's bot, let's see what 40 grids would produce in profit. Now the estimated profit margin per grid is after deducting fees. And that's only 0.17 to 0.24%. So I'm going to drop that down to, let's say, 20 and at 20 grids, now I'm looking at about half a percent to almost 0.70%. And so I think I will give this a shot and see how it performs. Now I will do a profit update video in the future, usually about 30 days out. And you might want to again shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those future profit videos. Next, I need to determine the investment amount, the amount of ammo I want to give this particular bot. And in this case, I can choose between USDT, BTC, or USDT and BTC. Uh, in this case, I don't have any BTC, I don't think, on this exchange. And so I'm just going to go with USDT. And I'm going to give it 500 USDT. We'll see how that runs. If this is successful, I might then redeploy the bot with some more ammo. And you also have the choice to just use the slider and they do show you your available balance. In this case, I have 3,400. So obviously I have more than enough for that 500 USDT. The, now the last feature you can do is take profit stop loss. That's what TPSL stands for. If you give that a click, you can actually put in a take profit target price. So rather than a percentage, you actually need to put in a dollar amount. And when the price is greater than that dollar amount, it will actually stop the bot automatically sell any of the underlying assets and return them to your manual trading account. Uh, stop loss is the same way when the price is less than the stop loss price the bot stops the system will automatically sell the underlying assets and return them to the manual trading account now I'm not going to actually use either one of these features mainly because I'm trading BTC and I'm okay if the price goes down to holding my BTC it would be nice if they actually gave you a choice just to stop the bot and hold the asset rather than sell the asset for both of these options. But perhaps this is just the first version of their bot and we'll see some upgrades in the future. So now the bot is configured and ready to deploy. I have my lower and upper price. I have the number of grids that I want the bot to deploy on. And I've determined the initial investment amount of 500 USDT. Now, if you want more intel on how this bot actually operates, you can come up to this question mark, come down to learn more, give that a click. And you'll be able to do a lot more recon on their actual trading bot mode. And that includes kind of all the details of each of those sections that I just completed. So let's get this bot deployed. So I just come over to create, give that a click. You get an order confirmation for BTC USDT spot grid. Uh, lower price 56,000, upper price 66,000, number of grids is 20, the mode is arithmetic, and the amount is 500 USDT. And there's a note to let you know that these funds will be segregated from your manual trading account, and therefore they won't be available for your manual trading account to have access to. And that's very similar to how Qcoin does it. When you create a bot on Qcoin, they segregate those funds into a different account. When the bot closes, it then returns those funds back to your trading account. So we're good to go. I click confirm. And so if you want to see the progress of your actual bot, you just come down to the tabs that across the bottom here. You click on bots. You can see the bot we just deployed. You also can look at the history of your bots. I don't have any yet. This is the first bot I've deployed since this is a brand new feature for OKX. And so you can see that the instrument that's being traded is BTC USDT. When the bot was actually deployed, you can see my price range, number of grids, total investment. My total PL so far is negative 18 cents, and the actual PL percentage is negative 0.04%. And so it looks like they're using Qcoin's term as arbitrages for the number of total trades, and that's currently zero. We just deployed this bot. You can see I don't have the take profit stop loss set up. And if I click on details, you get a much more detailed look. And you can see my total PL is now negative 27 cents. 
The PL ratio, don't be alarmed, it's 0.06% in the negative. The bigger number over here is the annualized rate. If this continued to perform the way it's currently performing, would be negative 455%. However, that's not how a grid bot should work, so I'm not too concerned about that since we literally just deployed this bot. And you can see my current holdings, uh, Bitcoin. It bought some Bitcoin for me at market price since I didn't hold any Bitcoin. And that is more than likely why I'm at a loss. Bitcoin's ticking down slightly. And it's nice to see they show my initial holdings was actually 0 BTC and 500 USDT. And so going forward, it should be fairly simple for me to reconcile my actual true profit what my holdings actually are compared to what I actually started this bot with. And then they show you more details about the actual deployment of the bot. And something else that's nice to show you is the initial price when I deployed the bot. And you can actually see your actual grid orders. I have 11 buy orders and 9 sell orders. And so with that being said, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually works, a grid bot is made up of open limit buy and open limit sell orders. Some platforms show you lines on the chart. Does not appear that OKX does that. But in reality, you don't actually need the lines on the chart per se. The lines basically just represent these open limit orders, whether they be on the sell side, they're generally represented in red, or the buy side are typically represented in green. And with that being said, the idea with the grid bot is when the price drops, you're buying at a lower price each time the price crosses one of these limit orders. And then on the way up, you're selling for profit when the price crosses above the limit sell orders. So you're buying low and selling high, buying the dip, selling the rip. And so instead of sharing a chart with you with lines on it, it looks like OKX will just share the actual orders. And for me, it still shows the info that I want to see. Also, they have the filled after rise or fall. And that is some new intel that most bots don't provide you with. So you can see if Bitcoin continues down to the, my bottom grid, it will have fallen 8%. On the flip side, if it goes up and it starts selling my position, you can see that the bot will go up 8% again when it hits my top order. And then lastly, they show you your history. And so far, my history is just on the buy side uh, in order to satisfy the sell orders on the way up. So that's what all these orders are for. So I had to have some Bitcoin to satisfy the sell orders that reside right here. And so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do a profit update on this bot in about 30 days. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that update video. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to OKX in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.